gallery we're in is a collection of 18th and 19th century, century artwork. When I first walked in, I thought they were all very detailed. <laughs> no. There's funny faces in that one, and the lady over there like follows you around with her eyes. I've chosen this painting because it's a party and they're celebrating in a lovely tent, and that it's all colourful and all have playing games and drinking and having fun. Although it has a lot of strange faces on it, like this one, because his eyes are like, <laughs> like angry kind of. Besides him, it's all happy, like a lot of the people who are drunk on the floor and stuff. Well, I think this might be a long time ago because of the clothes and the wearing like the armour. This fella here, <laughs> he's wearing a tunic um, and chain mail or something. It looks as if like they're all, as if they've been hunting, but they all look rich as well. This is a picture of an event from British history, the 9th century, when uh, Britain was invaded um, by Danish troops. This is Guthrum, King of the Danes, and this is King Alfred, uh, King of Wessex, who's listening to their secrets. They're spilling their secrets because they're all drunk. It's still a good picture as it's very detailed and very colourful, even though it isn't as happy as we thought it might be. At the time this was painted, audiences going to see pictures really admired pictures if they could be very smooth but also very detailed. So you couldn't see the evidence of the artist's work so that you could believe that this was metal or that there were flowers or there might be fur or velvets. It's very impressive because... Um, you can't see the paint marks on it, and it looks as if you just took a snapshot from history, although it's been painted with like something that comes out of a tube that's kind of liquidy. I think it would have taken him at least months to have painted this picture. He would have planned it out, he would have had models, he would have done studies, colour studies of bits, uh, then he would have planned out his picture, but on a smaller scale, and all this detail would have taken a very long time. This would have been a Royal Academy exhibit. When you exhibited at the Royal Academy, your pictures had to stand out because they were competing with hundreds of other pictures. A painting captures the artist's talent and helps them achieve uh, certain goals. Does it matter if you understand the picture or not? It does because it makes it more interesting if you do understand the picture because if you understand the picture, you understand the story. The story is more interesting than just looking at a picture and su suspecting it's very happy.